In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a modern certificate design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've used two professional colors or navy blue along with the combination of orange. And I've just put the certificate title as certificate of appreciation or you can change it as per your own requirement. And below I've put broadly presented to, then you can change the name of the recipient and below you can add more detailed text there. And then the, the bottom you can add the date and put the signature. And on the top right side, I have more put one more design as, as 2020 award. And in the background, you can see here, I've just put a pattern filled with the cross line. So it looks more professional than the plain uh, uh, background. To make this particular certificate, I have used two fonts, which are Baskerville Old Face and add in Kimberg. And if you don't have this font, you can just go search on the net and can can be downloaded or free of cost. And generally, many people ask me why I don't prefer to make my certificates or brochure in Word, why I always prefer on PowerPoint. For me, making the design on PowerPoint is faster and it's easier. There's a reason, a reason I always prefer the PowerPoint than Word. So let's start how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and go to design menu and then from the slide size select custom slide size and from the drop down list select the paper A4 size and the orientation let it be landscape click OK and I'm just going to zoom out and go to insert I'm going to select a rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle and the yellow the orange point you can just drag it outside so it becomes less curved and shape outline no outline and right mouse click go to format shape i'm going to increase the transparency level so that i know how much the uh, so rectangle on the slide and how much it is outside so i'm just going to using this circular arrow i'm just going to tilt it and i'm just going to put it here from this corner can you see here or you can just arrange it if it is not arranged properly with the keyboard. Now, once this is done, I'm just going to insert shapes. I'm going to draw a rectangle. The rectangle, I'm just going to cover the shape which is on the slide. You can see here. And then I'm going to select this uh, rectangle and this blue rectangle. Go to merge shape and just say intersect. So you can see here only this part is remaining now i'm just going to remove the transparency level and the shape fill you can use some dark color for this now i'm going to add one more rectangle covering the whole slide for that go to insert shapes and select rectangle and cover the slide with the rectangle and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill select a light gray color and then send this to back. And then later on, I'm going to put the pattern fill, uh, but not now. So I'm just going to select this particular object, press Control D to duplicate it and shape fill. I'm just going to make it white. And then I'm just making a little bit move towards the left. And this also, I'm just sending it back. So you can see here, I've just given one small kind of A border there so let me just reduce it so you can see here and then I'm going to select this white again press ctrl D to duplicate it and I'm going to give a different color uh, orange or whatever of your choice I'm just going to give this color let me just zoom out and I'm just going to put it here and increase the size a little bit and then send this to back. So you can see here, the design is almost uh, ready now for the top part. Now I'm just going to select all this, zoom out a little bit, and I'm just going to select something like this and press Ctrl G and Ctrl D to duplicate it. And then go to format, I'm just going to reduce the size a little bit and rotate it, flip vertical 
and then I'm just say flip horizontal and I'm just going to add it here at the bottom. If you want you can further reduce the size if the size is uh, too much you can just reduce the size and put it at the bottom. So you can see here our design is uh, ready now uh, with the the shapes I'm now going to add the text here now let me add the text for that go to insert text box and I'm just going to type certificate in capital and increase the size and I'm going to select a font called Baskerville old face if you don't have you can just download it and then you can make it a white color and put it here and if you want you can just increase the size as per your requirement and press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm just going to reduce the size and i will just say certificate of appreciation If you want, you can center a line also and just put it below. And then here the main uh, body text we are going to add now. Let me just increase the size of this. I will just make it 48. And this one, I'm just going to make it to 20. And just put it in the center okay now, now let's add the text here for that again i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate it and i'm just going to give the same blue color and i can simply go and make it very loose and i will just say proudly present to increase the size and just put it here proudly present to and then you're going to add the name I'm going to just select control D and I'm just saying name and surname make it normal and here I'm just going to use a font called which is add in Kimberg. Can you see this one? And then I'm just going to increase the size. I can just put it here. And if you want, you can just underline it. And below you can add more detailed text. So I'm just going to text box again, draw text box and I'll just say equals L-O-R-E-M within bracket one, some Latin text so that you can change your text later on. If you want, you can just give some dark gray color, reduce the size and I'm going to give the same font, which is the Baskerville. If you want, you can just center a line and paste it here. And then below, I'm just going to add the date. And so for this, let me just select Control D. And I'm going to give as the blue color. This normal and I'm just say date. Reduce the size. And put the date here. And I'm just going to add one line on top of it. So go to shapes, line, select one line by holding the shift key and bring it down. And I'm just going to select both of this control G to group it, control D to duplicate it and put it here. And I will just say signature here. So you can see here most of the design is ready and if you want you can just put some more uh, design here on the top. 
now i'm going to add some oval shape here go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and then this color i'm going to give this orange and shape outline no outline press ctrl d to duplicate reduce the size and this one i'm just going to give the blue color and i'm just going to put it in the center let me just increase the size a little bit and you need to make sure that it is properly aligned and then go to insert shapes and from the block arrows select this one arrow chevron and i'm just going to increase it make it this much size and shape fill i'm just going to give some dark color and shape outline no outline and using this arrow just bend it one will go here press ctrl d again bend the other side the other will go here and you have to make sure that this is properly aligned and select both of this and just say send to back so you can see here and then you want you can just put uh, some of your text here and um, let me just going to select both of these circles control G and you can give some shadow effect so you can see here our certificate design is ready and you can just simply change the details and and print it now one more thing which I forgot to told you is select this particular uh, uh, this one and then I'm just going to uh, give a pattern fill for that go to pattern fill and you can see there are a lot of patterns are there whichever pattern you can just simply use that one so generally uh, any certificates or something it comes with some uh, a, a curved line or some different kind of lines so you can see here I have just added and it looks more beautiful than before. So that's it from me with the certificate design. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.